Good afternoon, friends. Do you love animals? Do you have a pet that seems to be a, a better friend than people? There's a little dog that has cancer. And uh, I ain't got all the details on it, but we love animals. And so uh, we've been praying. We've asked for mercy and forgiveness and uh, prayed for healing and health for a little dog. And uh, let's pray. Father in heaven, have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy on me, forgive me of my sin. And today I know a little dog that's sick. And uh, it's been diagnosed with cancer, the best I can tell. And uh, we don't like to accept that diagnosis. And uh, we know Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and, uh, and uh, He has the power. And uh, He has raised the dead, and He has healed people, and He's cast out demons. And he's forgiven sin. And we've got proof of it. And we call upon our Lord Jesus Christ today. And we ask him to see this little dog. And see this family that loves him. And cares about it. And sees, and, uh, sees their suffering. And we pray that Jesus. That you would uh, touch the little dog and make it well. Uh, We pray that uh, you would uh, change that diagnosis <laughs> to something else. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I was afraid I was going to get run over by her. <laughs> That's Miss Weaver. God bless her. Lord, we pray that you'd bless the little dog. The little dog's name is Dixie. His family loves it. We love animals. And we pray to Jesus that uh, you comfort the family that loves this little dog. And uh, we pray that you heal the little dog and make it well. And we ask his blessing. In your name, Jesus. Amen. I always walk on the wrong side of the road. I complain about people driving on the wrong side of the road. Well, I walk on the wrong side of the road. Which side is the right road? The right side. Uh, you can't walk the shoulders here. You get snake bit. Get your shoes dirty. God help. I was watching Jonathan Cohen on TV. He said we're all Jewish. We're all we're all a little bit Jewish. Because our Jesus was Jewish. And we're grafted in. We were Gentiles. And uh, we had pagan gods and uh, sorcery and witchcraft and uh, crazy things. But now we're seeking Jesus. And uh, we're getting on the right track now. And I hope everybody gets on the right track before it's too late. It's warmed up a lot, but smart. It's about time for my bath and my shave. I don't like shaving, but I don't like the way I look or the way it feels when I don't shave. I need a haircut. And I'll tell you what, cutting one's on hire with some clippers. 
uh, it's difficult for me. But I can't afford to pay somebody to take me to get a haircut. And uh, $25, $30 for the haircut. $20 for food. 15 or $20 for gas. And then they might want a little money, a little cash too. So there you have it. <laughs> God help. When I moved here, I had a, uh, uh, not long after I moved here, my hair was long <laughs> and I had a beard and a mustache and uh, my mustache down grew down over my lip and uh, it was all gray and uh, Oh, anyways, when I let my hair get long, I can't see my ears. I got them unwanted hairs that grows in weird places, and then you go cut your hair, and uh, and then you realize uh, that hair three inches long growing out of the back of your ear that you ain't seen in a long time. So that's our reason for keeping our hair cut. They grow out of the bridge of my nose. I tried to, it was like a briar or a pen sticking out sometimes, stiff. Look in the mirror, finally get a hold of it and pull it out. They grow back, they grow back, and they grow back, and they grow back. Sometimes they'll go away. Winter time's coming. I definitely don't bathe as much in the wintertime as I do in the summertime. I still got that problem. It ain't as bad as it was, but when I go use, go use the bathroom to defecate, uh, burning and pain and uh, all the doctor gave me for that was some hydrocortisone cream and I've used it and I've used it and I've used it there's nothing healing about it and I've had all that blood work done and uh, all them stool samples and uh, they tell me nothing's wrong I can't help but wonder what IBS is and uh, Crohn's disease. And I wonder if them tests, uh, them stool samples covered all that. I'm not sure what all that covered, but it's supposed to, it was supposed to cover worms and infection. I know that, that much. Still waiting on my nail fungus test and uh, they told me it might be 30 days, a week or so ago. Today and uh, it's on our 30 to 45 days. You know, you can get your blood work back the next morning. I have within a few days. My toenails, they, they grow weird looking and funny. And uh, I take some uh, clippers. Some things that looks like wire dikes, something you cut wire with, and uh, cut that thing off there. And, and uh, sometimes I cut too much, and it bleeds, and it hurts. And I have to doctor myself up with antibiotic ointment and band-aids. Because my nails don't grow normal. They grow thick. They grow, they grow, uh, they don't grow out. <laughs> they don't grow like normal nails, that's for sure. Hmm. Here comes another car. God bless and God help. God help and God bless. I'm going to go back and 
see what the news is about the storm. The survivors, those that didn't survive. We've ordered us some uh, rigging glasses prior to try out uh, compact rigging glasses. These things right here sit on the bridge of my nose and uh, they proceed to get greasy. I wash them several times a day. Just like this cell phone. I do text messages and I do videos and so on and uh, you get a glimpse of it every once in a while and you'll say, wow, how did that thing get so dirty? <laughs> Well, it's called my hands are dirty. But uh, I can't seem to keep them clean. I wash my dishes by hand. I wash them every time I cook and eat. I might let them sit there a few minutes, but they don't sit there long. I don't have that many. I wash them and put them in the in a drain thing on the side of the sink there, you know, they're there for the next time. And I don't have to go be digging in the cabinets looking for stuff. Me being one, I've got what I need right there handy. Praise God. Dishwasher broke, it don't work. I think it's still too early for anything in the mail. Got some sweats coming for this winter. I hope the legs are, the ankles down there, down there are small and cuffed or whatever. Not flared out. No mail. Got a fanny pouch coming, but it's not exactly a fanny pouch. You wear it over your shoulder, riding my bicycle. Put my telephone in. Walmart Plus, Amazon, they got all kinds of things like that. So many, so many, so many. When you order them eyeglasses and reading glasses, some in places don't know, give you the option to choose a magnification. And I've called them on that a time or two called them on it and uh, call them and ask them uh, well, what magnification are they and uh, well it don't say we don't know you have to contact the seller so uh, I had to start being careful about that it'll say plus two over there but you look at the picture and it says plus one zero zero on the glasses in the picture Makes you kind of wonder what you're going to get. Need to spread that manure out. Actually, I need to plant the grass soon. But, but you know what? I think I'll leave it till the spring. But the fall is a good time to plant grass. God bless you, friends. Jesus is coming soon. You hear that hawk? Thanks for stopping by. My name's Norman Chester. And I'm an old sinner saved. Well, somebody said don't say that you're an old sinner saved by grace. But I'm a sinner seeking Jesus Christ for mercy and forgiveness and for healing and health. And I've done all I can do to make him my Lord and Savior. And I hope I've done enough. I believe in Jesus and what faith I've got is in Jesus.
I have an expectation of Jesus to save me from my sin. I hope he finds me, I hope he finds me worthy enough to write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life and, and save me from the wrath to come. There's some shipping wars going on. Price of stuff go, that happens occasionally just to run price of stuff up. Of course, a lot of the stuff in the United States comes from comes from other countries too, and uh, they want more money. That's what they do. They mess up the shipping, makes the price go up. Look at that Cadillac sitting there. <laughs> God bless you, friends. Father in heaven, have mercy. Please forgive us of our sin. Please bless the little animals that are sick, the people, the children. Lots of things going on. The world needs you, Jesus. We need healing and health. We need restoration. And we want to reach that point where we want to go to that place where there's no more sickness and disease, where the where the lion and the lamb lay down together, where there's no more war, where there's no more sin. Please have mercy on us, Jesus. Thank you, God, for our blessings. Please bless our friends and family, our neighbors and our animals. Guard us and protect us and keep us safe and well. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you, friends. I might see you again after a while. I might not. <laughs>